Hello everybody, what is up? So I was watching a video by Kyle Kalinske of Secular Talk the other day, and even though he posted this video, I found it to be so particularly disturbing that I feel the need to post it on my platform as well in case you guys didn't check his out. So pretty much what it was, was CNN was interviewing the head of FEMA, which is the Federal Emergency Management Agency, and it was pretty disturbing. He had very little understanding about what's actually going on. For example, if the government is ordering face masks, how many face masks they're ordering, what the next steps are with FEMA and how to deal with this issue, how many people are going to be affected, how many people are going to die as a result of this, you know, the, the basics. You could probably study this for a day and have a better understanding of it than he did. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, here's the video. Again, I don't take any credit for this. This was all by Kyle Klinsky of Secular Talk and CNN. So anyway, here's the video. How many masks does the federal government have right now? And when can they get to local hospitals? Well, for, when it comes to supplies, um, you know, we have been shipping from the national stockpile or for weeks. Uh, the demand on these critical items uh, is not only nationally, it's globally. Uh, so we, we, we've been shipping. We ship today. We're going to ship tomorrow. Uh, we're linking supplies not only from the national stockpile, but from vendors and commercial donations. Uh, and it's just not about uh, the federal government buying it. It's also about uh, those hospitals and other facilities, governors, that if you find it on the market, go ahead and buy it. Uh, FEMA will reimburse you for it. So uh, this is a shared responsibility. Every American has a role to play in, in defeating the coronavirus. Do you have any specific numbers on how many masks the federal government has been able to acquire and how many have gone out the door to hospitals? Uh, it, it, is, it is a dynamic and fluid uh, operation. Uh, the president appointed FEMA five days ago uh, to manage federal operations. Uh, and since I've been here, we've been shipping uh, continuously uh, from federal warehouses and, again, connecting uh, you know, those governors that need uh, supplies to, to those who have it in, in the commercial sector. Do you have uh, even so, a rough number? Uh, I, I can't give you a, a rough number. I can tell you that it's happening every day. And my mission is operational coordination of all of these things, and that's my focus. So whether it's uh, supplies, vents, uh, you name it, we are finding it, identifying it, and shipping it to those who have requested it. You understand, though, of course, that the inability of the federal government to give a number in terms of masks alarms people. It makes people concerned that there aren't masks going out the door. I'm not saying that that's the case, but without a number, it doesn't fill people with confidence. Yeah, I, I'm not sure it's about an exact number. It really is. I think every American has a role to play. And, and so let me just give you an example. Uh, when it comes to testing, and Dr. Fauci said it yesterday, the president said it yesterday, uh, if you don't need a test, if you don't have symptoms, please don't get a test. Uh, for every test that we do that, uh, that someone doesn't have symptoms for, uh, that's PPE uh, not used well. So I ask every American, uh, if you have symptoms, go get a test. If you don't need uh, a test because you don't have symptoms, don't do it. That helps us. It helps governors. It helps your local community. Please play your part in this uh, effort to defeat the coronavirus. You just made a reference to PPE. That's personal protective equipment. It's what healthcare workers and first responders need to wear. And this brings me to my next question, because it's not just ma uh, masks that we're talking about, that there are shortages on the front lines, as you know. It's swabs, it's tests, it's ventilators. Obviously, it's FEMA's job to coordinate all these requests coming from all over the country. I want you to take a listen to just three governors in the last few days. All of Nevada's requests to the federal government regarding drive through swab testing pods, swab test kits, and testing reagent kits are on an indefinite backlog. Do you have the masks, the ventilators, anything you need to fight this virus? No, we don't. Do we have enough beds? Do we have enough gloves? Do we have enough PPE equipment? And the answer is no. For the governors of Nevada, uh, Michigan, and I'm sure you recognize uh, Governor Cuomo of New York, y you said yesterday you've been getting requests for masks, swabs, ventilators, and more. When should local hospitals expect to receive these supplies? So it's all about priorities. We have been focusing on the, the hot spots, New York City, Washington State, California, and others, to make sure that we send these uh, critical items and we, we understand they're critical, uh, to get them into the hands of uh, governors and medical professionals so they can treat uh, those patients uh, affected by the coronavirus. Uh, this is our mission. I have uh, 20,000 FEMA employees, and I have uh, all the employees of uh, 13 federal agencies, the private sector, here 
uh, devoting every single minute of every day uh, to meet this uh, demand. Can you tell us uh, how many tests, masks, ventilators uh, are in the demand? How many the governors have requested from you in terms of I, those I, items? I, 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 I can't give you the, the, the micro. I can say that there's hundreds of requests uh, from virtually every state in the union looking for the same exact things. Uh, and it's just not uh, the demand nationally. It's the demand globally uh, for, for all these items. And again, uh, we're trying to make sure that we uh, focus our efforts uh, to those hot spots that need it the most. Uh, and then if you don't need it right away, then uh, you're going to be a little bit farther down the list. But we'll, we'll get to you. Again, nobody's doubting the sincerity of your effort, but the lack of numbers is, is alarming because it makes people think that maybe we don't even have a full understanding of the problem. Um, let me ask you, the president suggested on Saturday that even though he invoked the Defense Production Act for the coronavirus response that would allow the military to supply more and even for the president to compel businesses to manufacture some of these well-needed supplies, even though the president's invoked it, he's not actually ordered any companies to manufacture masks, ventilators, etc. cetera. Uh, has the president, as of now, Sunday morning, ordered any companies to make more, any, to make more of any of these critical supplies? Uh, no, and, and, and we haven't yet. Yep. That is where we're at. That is where we are at. So let me know what you guys think. You can either reach out to me on Twitter at ZachMoss6 or comment in the comment section below. How do you feel about that interview? Let me just ask you one specific question. Did that make you feel better or worse about the virus? That is all. Anyway, hopefully you guys got something out of this video. If not, it is what it is. Have a nice, beautiful, safe day in quarantine.